I mean, how do you explain your DNA? And it's almost like, well, uh, shit, I don't know. Like I had to have been there. If my, you're telling me my DNA is there, isn't that like kind of what happens? Yes, it's absolutely what happens. Like law enforcement treats it more than the tool that it is. I mean, it's a tool for certain. I mean, it, it should never be the end all be all in any case, because there's always explanations as to why somebody's DNA can show up in a place where it otherwise shouldn't be. Did you look through this one, Sleuthy, right here? Which one's this one? This is the, this the one? Yeah, the DNA transfer to be placed. It was almost like it was like a, a test that was happening here. Where they touch the knife handle and then they see like whose profile's on it? Yeah, yeah. DNA transfer to, to place, stored, and handle drug packaging and knives and housing. Um, it's just kind yeah, of... An- they did multiple experiments. So they did it where there was touch DNA. They did transfer DNA. So touch DNA is just yeah. when you touch something, right? So if I touch my computer here, I, the, it now has my touch DNA on it. Transfer is where, say, I take this shirt off and I throw it on the fucking bed and somebody murders somebody and they leave the knife near my shirt and then my my DNA transfers from my shirt onto the knife. That's transfer DNA. So they're, they're different. Like, touch is where you actually, you know, do it. And then, you know, obviously biological is where you get it straight from the source, you know. What's uh, trippy? in articles where they use them synonymously, touch and transfer. They do. Yeah. It, I think sometimes it has a, it has something to do with the level of how much of the profile is there, like the mm-hmm. kind of like yep. trace, like trace. Yep. Yeah. I've and, that used the same way. Yep. You know, like like our DNA expert, like when he was breaking shit down for me, it that's like Sleuthy nailed it on the head. It's it's basically if it's a if it's kind of a a, a minuscule amount. They can't. They don't really know if it was touch or transfer. Like, like right. either way, technically it's the same thing. But touch is where somebody physically touches it, whereas transfer, you could be transferring DNA from like a, an article of clothing, where you're clearly not touching the item, and it, and you can still transfer DNA. So, yep. You know, that's why you have to worry about it. You know, honestly, I mean, reading DNA through this stuff trans- has been trippy as shit. Like, uh... DNA transfer super easy, man. I mean, we're flaking off fucking. Hundreds of thousands of particles of fucking dead skin per day. Yeah, this and article right here then. actually kind of shows. Uh, this was one about the dude that Dan was mentioning, but hold on, let me just make it a little bit smaller. But they did yeah, a, this... an experiment. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, where they like had a know, experiment for the instant. The volunteers sat at a table and shared a jug of juice. After 20 minutes of chatting and sw- uh, sipping, swabs were deployed on their hands, the chairs, the table, the jug, and the juices, juice glasses, then tested for generic material. The jug was touched by each of the participants at least once, and each of their DNA was found on the handle in almost every case. Although the volunteers never touched each other, one third wound up with another's DNA on their palm. A third of the glasses bore DNA of volunteers who did not touch nor drink them. Then there was the foreign DNA profiles that didn't match any of the juice drinkers. It turned up on about half of the chairs and glasses and all over the participants' hands on the table. Uh, the only explanation yeah, to participants for DNA, like if I, if like if Dan had a glass and he had been drinking it, and then I picked it up and I had fucking Dan's DNA on my hand, that's transfer. That's not touch. I like mm-hmm. Dan didn't touch me. Right. Yeah. Dan that, grabbed my that's fucking what I was, arm. That's yeah. touch DNA. You know what I mean? There's there's a difference, but they that's do what I was saying. Like they use them. I mean, at least way. people that don't like have an understanding of it use it interchangeably. Yeah. It's, they're different things. I mean, they just are. If, if you start throwing yourself into this whole conversation and you you will like never touch anything ever like the amount of other people's like when he brought up the skin cells that made me physically ill cuz like the amount of other people's DNA that surrounds you at any point in time is like Mass. way more than you think. Like Mass. it's trippy. Yeah. Yeah, when, when we get into the Lucas Anderson case, I mean that case should absolutely terrify anyone. It's unbelievable that's, what yeah. happened. And that's there, this is the article yeah. that's that's actually from when I scroll back up here. And I hadn't really read deep into that, but it is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh and dude, this guy's an idiot. Hold on. When the DNA results came back, even Lucas Anderson thought he might have committed the murder. He said, I drink a lot. He remembers telling public defender uh Kelly Clu Clu's completely browned out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really was. He really was. He must have been pretty him. fucked up, buddy. <laughs> you know, I had it's a couple like of drinks. DNA Maybe there. I murdered this entire family. I don't know. Exactly. exactly. Uh, as they sat in plain it's view well, uh, it, <laughs> in this jail, sometimes he blacked <laughs> out. So it was possible he did something he didn't remember. And then he says, "Maybe I did do it." <laughs> so out the gate. Well, Bob, don't they do that? Like, don't they like? Your DNA is here. I mean, how do you explain your DNA? And it's almost like, well, 
uh, shit, I don't know. Like I had to have been there. If my, you're telling me my DNA is there, isn't that right. like kind of what happens? Yes, it's absolutely what happens. Like law so. enforcement treats it more than the tool that it is. I mean, it's a tool for certain. I mean, it, it should never be the end all be all in any case, because there's always explanations as to why somebody's DNA can show up in a place where it otherwise shouldn't be, you know? So, I mean, you, you gotta like, that's why they have fucking trials. You know what I mean? 100%. That's why that's why they have trials. That's why trials exist. So that's why I tell everybody to shut the fuck up with coming up with your final opinion before the shit's been vetted at trial. That's the whole purpose of a trial. It's why they exist. It's why the framers of the Constitution had the foresight to say, hey, you know what? Everyone's presumed innocent, and everybody in this country is going to get a trial. And that is going to allow for the evidence to be vetted by both sides. The state wants to produce it. The defense then gets to vet it with their own experts and challenge it. And then whatever the jury decides, that's what they decide based on the evidence they heard, not on speculation, not on bullshit, you know, because like that's the whole thing. That's my whole thing on, you know, on the socials, man. I just like I, I have a very low tolerance for fucking people that, that puke their opinions up, which are just that as fact like i i have no tolerance get you down the old coffin after road real quick (laughs) that's also why they say don't talk to police right because the police will use any even the most random circumstantial evidence to try to back you into a corner and make you feel defense attorneys tell you like i told you dan my one rule shut the fuck up you don't say anything (laughs) to the police especially if you're innocent like like the people are innocent are like what what, what, what?" (laughs) if the cops are talking to you to begin with yeah they, they don't yep. think you're innocent. That's, that's what right. they run through your mind. <laughs> if they brought you in because they need to speak to you, they think that you are somehow involved. Whether or yep. not you, you did it, like, so you just shut the fuck up and you call a lawyer. That doesn't make you guilty. It makes you smart. That's it. Yeah. I heard, it. A, I heard a guy explain it, and it, it, he explained it really well, and I was like, for someone that wouldn't really understand, and he basically was saying, like, the police, exactly what you just said, is they're, they're not talking to you because uh, they think that you might be helpful per se. They're talking to you because they're suspicious of you and <laughs> they want to clear that up. And one of yeah, the things in particular... They clear it up. <laughs> yeah, clear it up. We want to help you out. We more. Did. Right. And, <laughs> and he said, he was, like, he was like, there's a reason why they say to you that everything you say can and will be used against you. None of it will use, be used to help you. Nothing you say that's helpful to your case will be mentioned at all all of it that is going to be able to be sounding bad to whatever situation you're in that's the part that they're going to use against you and i was like that makes perfect sense and but this this case we're getting ready to to read though like this is not an explanation that i think that like anybody would would see coming even this own man like didn't expect that this was going to end the way that it was i mean you just said it he said maybe i did do it i don't know how my dna (laughs) got there